Hello everyone, this is Tom from everystepphysics.com, everystepcalculus.com. Don't forget about my physics programs. Um, this is a problem of integration by parts, which uh, a young man named Christopher sent to me to solve. And so I um, want to make a video of this. Um, I've been doing partial fraction decomposition because I'm way into that stuff, but uh, today I want to do integration by parts with um, e to the exponent stuff here, okay? <coughs> Exponential stuff. You go to index 8 to get to my main menu. Index 8 comes in your instructions if you buy my programs, and of course you're taught how to put this index 8 in here. And then uh, you're ready to go and bring up my uh, main menu, which I'm. The main menu, of course, goes from A to Z of everything in, you need in calculus to pass your tests and do your homework. At least, certainly, uh, I needed it to to do that uh, when I was in college years, years ago. Um, but anyway, you scroll down to integrate by parts here, press the enter button and you're into the program. And then I ask you, because secant and is different, so I, I need to, um, special programs for that. And so I ask you if that's in, involved in the function here. If that was secant in here, you'd say yes, but I, it says it's not in there, so we're going to say no. We can scroll down or you can press number two, whatever. And then we're going to enter the function here. You have to press alpha first, so you press alpha, and we press x times the uh, L yellow button here, and this is the e to the x uh, function. And then we're going to press 11 times x. Don't forget the times in between terms. Tell the calculator exactly what you want to do. And then close off the parentheses and press enter. And I show you what you've entered. x times e to the 11 times x dx. That's what we're finding. I say, I say it's okay. If you want to change it, you go back to number 2. I say it's okay. Press number 1. And it says busy loading the pr some, some program the fraction quite a while maybe even 20 20 25 seconds so don't give up and then once you do that once you want to send the cat once you've done that and the calculator goes really fast so anyways here we're i is the integral equals the function here <coughs> and then we find out the components of the formula for integration by parts i do that for you here you write this all on your paper exactly as you see it. Here's the formula. And um, amazing how some videos have different characters for the formula, you know. But this is what you need. You have, of course, make, make sure you put down what your professor teaches you for this. Uh, but it's the same. It's going to do the same calculations. And so here we're entering the the function here's u, which is x, and here's v, which is e to the l divided by 11. And here's the rest of it, exactly here. Write this on your paper. The other other integral is is um, u substitution here, so we're doing that. Interesting to note that this is my invention here. You'll never see this on any professor or anything. This is, I, it took me about a year to figure this out, actually what they're doing here for U substitution. And then they're trying to isolate the DX so they can get rid of the DX in the original problem and change it into U. So then you, you lose. Using algebra, of course, 11 goes on the other side and divides by it. So here we are here. So then we, we sub in the U do our u exactly like this and then we integrate it 
121 times e to the u. Notice there's 11 times 11 in the denominator, which comes up with 121. We back sub for u, which is 11x, and then we complete the answer x times e to the 11x divided by 11 minus 1, 121. Here's the complete answer here. Pretty neat, huh? EverystepCalculus.com. Go to my site, buy my programs, and pass calculus like I did. Um, I'll help you all I can, too. You can call me on the phone or whatever. We'll figure out whatever you need to figure out about calculus, certainly, or, or how to work my programs. Or you can send me a quizzes in email. I'll show you exactly how, to, how my programs work on these things. But it's not complicated. It's just, you know, you're doing it just like as if you had uh, all this in your, in your calculus book open, but much better than that because this is so great right now. So have a good one, okay?